Hey folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I'm here with everyone's favorite boatless angler. We've got Antonio with us today. Today, folks, we're looking for that top water smallmouth bass bite. And we're gonna run the new Mojo Mackies. Now, the last time we used these Mackies, we were out fishing saltwater and catching stripers. But today, folks, we're looking for, and we got one on already. We're looking for smallmouth. Oh, and I got myself a nice bass. <laughs> First cast in. <laughs> I, was, I was just gonna say, oh boy, I was just gonna say these Mackies are a little bit bigger and I wanna run them for pike and for muskies. But you know what? They're just every bit as good for smallmouth and largemouth as well. And look at this smaller bass hitting this bigger lure. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I went with the fire tiger, as you can see. I've got the fire tiger Mackie on there. And look at this little bass hitting this big lure. Now, I gotta be careful, because I don't have a landing net. But he just attacked it. Look at that. Okay, let me let a little bit of line out here. There's a start to our day. Right there. I'm just gonna lip lock him. And uh, get this other hook that went in just under the skin, we're gonna get that out. Maybe with a needle nose. Okay, I'm gonna get the needle nose just to get this out. Okay, always good to carry a needle nose with you. There we go, look at this, little fish, big lure. Hey, he didn't even hesitate to hit that Mackie. Unbelievable, okay, we're just gonna let him go. See you later, Mr. Smalley. All right, I got a little bit of a line twist here going on now. But uh, that's gonna be the tactic. What we're doing today is we're walking the dog and Antonio went with the, with the green, the green macro color, and I went with the fire tiger. And what I like to do when I'm fishing topwater, when I cast it in, oh, oh, I just missed him. There was another one. I like to, as you saw there, I like to let it sit for a minute, not a minute, I like to let it sit for just a few seconds uh, and let the bass take a look at it before I start twitching it and walking the dog. So actually I had a hit right on top of the water there, just as it, just as it hit. And the other thing, I can get nice long casts with this Mackie because it's weighted, which is great right now because the water levels are up relatively high. And as a result, I need to be able to cast as far as I can to cover as much ground. And all I'm doing is just reeling and twitching back. And that's called walking the dog. And the lure is basically going to the left and going to the right, leaving a bit of a wake. And the fish are coming up and they'll hit it. So when I get closer, I'll just bring it in. Now, the other thing I like about these Mackies, besides being weighted, they also have rattles in them. And another very important feature, which I, I want to mention, is the first hook is very, very close to the head. Close enough, that's where the fish hit. If you notice that first little smallie, he hit that top he hit that top bait uh, hit that top he they hit they attack the head so what happens is they end up when they attack the head that's where the hook is and then you got a better chance for a hookup so it looks like we've got some floating weed even on top of the water we got some floating weed so very important to keep our line perfectly clean keep your lure 100 percent clean as you're fishing there we go. All right, so that's gonna be the strategy today. We're gonna to cover a little bit of water. I'm gonna walk out as far as I can. And Antonio's kind of working this side and I'm gonna kind of work this side. And uh, we'll see if we can get another fish or two. So, so glad you could join me folks, so stay tuned. another small yacht first or second twitch and he hit I was just moving my way over to the side a bit whoa and he hit a little bit very nice very nice another little smallie boy I just love it on the top water folks I just absolutely love it and I'm running mono I've got eight pound mono line and you want that mono 
to give that little bit of a stretch when you go to set the hook because you don't want to pull the lure right out of the fish's mouth. So this one, I'm going to explain a couple different things about topwater and what I was doing there after I get this guy back in the water again. Okay, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Same size as the other one. Oh, the top hook just came out of his mouth. And I got one just in the side there a bit. All right. We are going to get you right off the hook. And right back in the water again. Just pierce the skin just ever so slightly. Look at that little pass. Like, talk about aggressive, folks. I mean, seriously. We're running these lures for big stripers, salt water, and look at the look at the bass that's hitting it. It's unbelievable. Okay, we're gonna get him back in. Okay, so what I want to mention about top water, it's a lot of fun. When you see the hit, you hesitate for a second, then you set the hook. And using mono allows you to get a little bit more stretch so you don't pull the, the lure out of the fish's mouth. If you're using braid, you gotta wait maybe a second more before you set the hook because Otherwise, you just, with that direct line, you pull the, the lure right out of the fish's mouth. Okay, the other thing, when fishing top waters, I like to fish top water in the morning uh, or in the evening. Those are my preferred times. And the other thing is, you gotta consider strike zones. So if I'm fishing 50 feet of water, I'm, I'm typically not gonna use a top water lure unless the fish are suspended and close to the top, but that's very rare. So. Typically, I'm going to fish shallower water. So right now, the water we're fishing in is 10 feet or less. And uh, the fish will come up their strike zone. They'll come up and they'll hit a topwater lure in that shallower water. So the other times I like to fish topwater is, of course, um, in the evening. As the sun's going down. Uh, or uh, another time is if it's cloudy. If, the, uh, if it's very cloudy out, the fish will be active all day long and their strike zone will be larger. Now, that's the problem when you use a snap. You could tie direct, but I opted to go with a snap today just in case I wanted to uh, change some colors. Okay, I don't know how I managed that, but the joys of fishing. Okay. Now the other thing when you're when you're casting these lures, the topwater lures, I like to go for a soft landing if I can. So what I do is just before the lure hits the water, just kind of pull back a little bit on your line. So what happens is the force of the lure from the cast wants to go this way and then if you just pull back on your rod just before it hits the water, it makes for a soft landing. So it's plunging forward and then all of a sudden and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Cast, and then just before it hits, just ease back a bit. Just pull back with your rod just a bit. Just give a little tug back that way, and it'll it'll cushion the blow of the land, make for a softer lander landing. And then when I'm bringing in for for uh, freshwater fishing, I like to bring it in, maybe stop and pause just for a second, twitch it back in, stop and pause, twitch it back in. That last one, just as I stopped and paused and I started up again, that's when you hit it. So what I would encourage you to do is try different techniques with the topwater lures and see which one is going to trigger, trigger some hits. Okay, I'm off to a, a pretty good start so far today. I think I'm going to walk my way back there again and cover some more ground and see if I can get into another fish or two. Okay. I can't believe that one. He hit the lure and he came barreling out of the water. And I gotta tell you, this is not a big fish. So Antonio, he, he's been getting some bigger fish out there deeper. So I might have to go out there and join him, but he uh, he's visiting the little boys room right now. And I'm taking advantage and catching some fish, but this one really hit. Where are those bigger bass? That's really what I want with this bigger lure. Oh, but in the meanwhile, I'm having fun with these. Oh, and I just lost them. Okay, that's all right. It was a small one anyway. But you know what, folks? I think what I might do, Antonio was getting some bigger bass out there. 
It's just a little tricky to get out there, but I know the cameraman's not going to want to venture out there. But I think what I'll do is I'll venture out there and uh, see if I can get into some bigger fish. But you know what? Top water fishing, folks, another good time to do it um, is if you've got some chop on the water. If you've got some chop on the water, the fish are going to be generally active all day long. And uh, you've got a good chance to catch fish on top water. And let me tell you, it's super exciting. That one, when he hit, he actually hit and took the lure and himself right out of the water. So it was really neat to see. But uh, give top water fishing a try. Boatless angling. If you've got some waders, you can come out and cover a little more water. But if not, just stand the shoreline and cast it out and uh, have some fun. That's what I'm doing today. I want to thank you ever so much for joining me on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing.